Hello, welcome to episode two of Make Something Every Day. So first of all, this is a watercolor book. What's important is to note that it's 140 pounds and that it's cold pressed. You can also use cardstock, which comes in 65 pounds, and that can be purchased at Staples. And so this is what I painted on St. Patrick's Day. As you can see, it's not fully flat, but you can just flatten it out with some heavy books and it does dry a little bit crinkly, but it's still usable. So our goal today is to paint some flowers like this. Some very light flowers and then it involves a lot of layering and colors because there is no white in watercolor. There's many type of brushes you can get. I'm gonna try to use the cheapest and simplest today just to show you that you can create beautiful artwork with even cheap materials. I have this cute little sprayer. I bought it from the dollar store and I just labeled it here so I know it's water because I actually have one with tea tree oil and uh, I used it last time. So this is just a little fine mister and you can mist up your palette. So these are from Topo Doru, which is a cute little art craft home supply store in Richmond Hill. And it's 42 watercolors and it folds up like a fan and you can mix over here. And I got it a long time ago um, and it's made by Kiritaki and they're full pans. They are removable. The number is on the back so you don't lose track of anything. And there's a legend right here. It shows you all the different colors. You just add the colors yourself and if you're looking for a certain shade of green you could be like, oh this is what I'm looking for. I have no clue when. So this is just an old cheap watercolor that you can probably get um, at Michael's. It works fantastic. I've had no issues with it. And these are the ones I'm going to use today along with these brushes just to show you that you can create with cheap, cheaper materials and you don't need to go on the expensive side. So let's get started here. So this is where I mix the colors. It's a little bit dirty. It has old paint on it. I don't, I don't usually care too much. So here's a more chubby brush. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use some pinks and yellows uh, and a little bit of purple for the flowers. And then we're going to use green on the leaves. So we'll start with pink, which is just pink is just red lightened up with a lot of water. So it's important for watercolors, uh, watercolor paintings, you work in layers. So you don't add a lot of paint to begin with. You just add many, many, many thin layers. So I'm just paint some petals. That's really nice. So let's add a leaf over here because it's a little bit dull. A little bit dull. Do another side. Yeah, that's a bit better. Mm -hmm. Some here. Oh, I love that color. I just add more red for the heck of it. Okay, at some point I should stop. Oops, that's the wrong way. It's okay. Let me add another one here, make this little, like, evergreen. So there you have it. Here's painted watercolor flowers. It was about maybe 10 minutes or so. It was a nice little to-do to take my mind off of the crazy things that are happening in this world right now. So there you go. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something today. Okay. Goodbye! Keep your body, mind, and soul active. Make something every day. If you like this video, please subscribe, follow, and like.